He was thrown at. In him. fact, it wasn't even a good inside pitch. No. We have it again. That was a bad pitch. Kaiser is definitely right. Yeah. In what he's doubt. doing. And Pinnell is wrong. Because you could see the two home runs before him. I mean, they had pretty good control. And if he gets in his eye, but he threw behind him. Behind him is the worst. Fastball and a chopper to short. Gillardi down to second to Meacham. Back to Mattingly. Too late. The run is over. And Canella is going to be all over Coble. Close play, but Pinella's going to lose the argument. Guess who's up? Todd Benziger once again. He doubles into the right field corner. Paul O'Neill comes in to score the tying run. That ties the game up at 6 all. Eric Davis trying to score all the way from first base is thrown out at the plate. First he's called safe, but Mike Sosha has blocked the plate successfully. Eric Davis with what would have been the winning run is called out. The game goes into extra innings. Cincinnati Reds manager Lou Pinella goes berserk. He's eventually ejected from the game. The Reds would protest this game because of the call on this play. We're going to. Whoa. Did he get him? Yes. Yeah. He got him on the arm. Braggs says nothing. Bases are loaded. Pinella's screaming out at Crawford. Crawford's screaming back. There's still no warning. He's gone. Sweet and watch out, he's getting close to Martinez. A little bit unhappy as he will come out, lose his gum there. He was ejected from the game by Jim Quick after arguing with him from the dugout. Then somehow got into another conversation with Bob Davidson. He went over to pursue that conversation, which then became heated. And after some choice words were exchanged, Davidson threw Pinella out of the game. You'll see that coming up right here. The Expos failed to score that inning, so the score was still one to nothing Reds. The Reds are now working with Jackie Moore as manager as Pinella has been ejected. As you see this argument continued for a while with John McSherry trying to break it up. Double play. Cone toss five and two thirds, no hit as well. But in the seventh, Lou Pinella bit miffed at umpire Dale Scott. Strike zone. Lou never real shy, gets six sided kicks dirt all over the place and how about the umps taking it all in saying you know he could be a little more animated if he tried eventually Lou got boot discussion next inning Gordon gets the strike called this time Andy Sheets doesn't agree and here comes sweet Lou you know Luke Pinella can argue with the best of them he can gesture and you know what he can spit and he can he can spit with the best of them and then spit some more but you know what all that got Lou an early shower bottom of the fifth feeling is that he's talking about the home plate umpire of squeezing the strike zone and getting it down so small that it's tough for this kid to throw a strike. Dale Ford out there as well. Well, if Voltaggio didn't know what flavor gum Lou was chewing, he knows now. He came out there like a charging bull. Bottom four scoreless, Ken Griffey Jr. in second. Edgar Martinez breaking off his 23rd homer of the year. But does he? You saw the spot channel. You saw the fan reaching over the railing for the ball. That negated a two-run homer. It would have been his 23rd. Instead, Martinez gets his 48th double of the year. It's a ground rule double. And Lou Pinella just blows his top. He's livid. <laughs> Lou Pinella came out to try and calm him down. Then Lou started arguing balls and strikes right with home plate ump Daryl Cousins. Cousins throws Pinella out, and, and Lou goes absolutely ballistic. You've By seen Darryl managers Cousins. kick dirt, haven't you, Rich? Yeah. This is kicking dirt to an all-time level. There's one. There's two. I don't know if he's a field goal kicker, a soccer player, a groundskeeper. Lou kicked dirt like for about three or four minutes. <laughs> you think we're laughing? You ought to see his own team. Griffey and Buter in the outfield for coach. After a close play at third, Lou Pinella had had enough of Al Clark on the day. And he gets tossed in the game. Al Clark 
that he thought about doing his trademark toss of the bag. Instead, he just dirtied it up a bit and took off. Jeez, Bob Wells pitching to Jeff Fry, base hit. Will Cordero come on down? Troy O'Leary trying to come on down, and he is called safe. But Dan Wilson says O'Leary missed home, and Luke Pinella says as well, but at least he's got the courtesy to remove his gun before screaming at John Hirschbeck, who knows a thing or two about being on the receiving end of expectoration. Seattle trying to come back again, but it is the giant pin. Look at the good pick there by Rich Aurelia. Joey Cora had been four for four, thinks he should be five for five. He's probably right. He's unleashing some pent-up hostility against Sam Holbrook, the umpire. Here comes Lou Pinella to join in the fray. Joey got ejected. You know Lou's not soon to follow. There he is. He's been in some good loose dirt there. Two Indians, 5-3 Indians, top nine. Runner on the grounder. Russ Davis tries to avoid the tag. He is ruled out, so they say double play. They say Davis came out of the baseline. Lou Pinella says, come on. This season has been the season from you know what. You're going to call a little itsy bitsy call like that on me. You've got to be kidding me, Larry Barnett. He disagrees. Larry Barnett, very casually, without making a lot of fanfare, just kind of gave one of those like you're pointing out something across the street, threw him out. Just said, Lou, you're out of here. That's done, okay? Lou was trying to say, look, he stayed on the way and never got tagged. Should be safe at second, should not be a double play. Well, Lou complained and then finally realized, I got thrown out. I was being calm. I got thrown out. Larry Barnett, you got to be kidding me. And then Lou Pinella, understanding that NFL rosters have been cut down to 60, understanding that there's a chance for some kicking spots to open up after a last four weekend, <laughs> Lou let go on Larry Barnett. He lost the lid and then blew up. There you go. I'm going to show you plays kicking. Parcells, I can kick it better than John Hall, better than Brett Conway. I can kick it. I thought in the newsroom, Junior even had a laugh. He tried to hide it, but we caught him. I, I had a laugh in the newsroom. I honestly, I bet a milkshake that he would take second base and throw it. We've seen Lou do that. He did not do that, but he kicked the hat. He kicked, he has not kicked the habit of kicking the hat. <laughs> we feel your pain. And then after he threw the hat in the stands, it got thrown back at him. Abanez appears to have scored a run, but hold on. Twins appeal the tag up at third, and Drewwood Merrill says he left too early. Lou Pinella is given the heave-ho, and this is classic Lou Pinella. Watch it again. Abanez appears to leave on time. Pinella may have a case, but Sweet Lou wasn't sweet on Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. There goes the bats, but hey, Lou, you won. Einstein Tino Martinez. And Paul Abbott walks Tino to force in a run. That was close. Jeter scores to make it five zip. And Lou, Lou is really mad. And he comes out to give it the home plate off Ted Barrett. And give it to him, and give it to him, and give it to him. Vanella, yeah, you might, uh, you might gather. He... Tribe tied it at four. Things got interesting. Carlos Fierga, the steal. Fierga, the elusive slide to avoid the tag of A-Rod. He is called safe. Look at Lou Pinella. He's exploding literally out of the dugout. Pinella hates the call, points to the second base umpire Bill Welke that Fierga slid out of the base path. Then he kicks him after he was ejected. And then Lou, after he's done kicking, he decides to reenact the Fierga slide. Nicely done. Does Sweet Lou have a gripe? Take another look. Bayerga sliding wide of the bag, avoiding Alex Rodriguez's tag, and then reaches the bag. It's really a tough judgment call. Looks like it could have gone either way. Facing David Bell, and Bell tries to check his swing. Thinks it's ball four, but the first base umpire, Travis Katzenmeyer, calls him out, and here comes Lou Katzenboy in a relation to Andy. Not even pronounced the same way, except for me. Devi Cruz, that that's, that's a strike. Lou Pinellas says something from the dugout. Um says, Lou, why don't you just go away? Yeah, here we go. Uh -oh, and you can't do that to Lou because he's got kind of a fiery temper, so they start discussing if Rhode Island is either a road or an island. He does again, kicks away. Pagan toward third, the throw. Got him. The ball hit the dirt, but on the bounce, Escobar able to get it. He applies the tag. Pagan and Mike Quaddy arguing, and here's Lou. This could be the yep. one. There it is, number one, the first ejection as a Cubs manager for Lou Pinella, and he is really letting Mark Wegner have it. Just kicked dirt on him. Get him to chase. Right back off the so take your top of take Vasquez. He'll fire, and he's got it. Oh, boy. And Wells oh boy. is set. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. And here comes, uh-oh. Lou Pinella. Wow. And Lou yep. is hot. And he is going.